TV. I'm here with Cress from Walking the Tightrope, the creative genius behind the entire show. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm okay, I'm good, I'm excited. Yeah, uh, we did our first performance yesterday, so uh, it's looking really good. Cool. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the show itself. Yeah, sure. So there's eight short <laughs> plays, um, political short plays. Um, I say that they're explosive and they're by um, some of the most celebrated writers in the UK, um, like Carol Churchill, Mark Ravenhill. Um, and they're about freedom of expression and the tension uh, between art and politics and what that means. And obviously that's been a really big year for um, kind of incidents that have happened around freedom of expression, so I think it's quite timely that we have a proper debate about it. Um, it actually based on originally from the incidents last summer at the Edinburgh Festival um, uh, when the underbelly, um, uh, the Israeli hip-hop group, um, were uh, forced to close um, due to protests, um, uh, pro-Palestinian uh, protests. Um, so it's really exciting to actually be performing yeah. <laughs> the, the shows in one of the venues that was um, inspired the whole production. Wow, that's brilliant. Yeah. And you actually have um, a sort of political debate after the show as well, don't you? Yeah. Do you get the audience involved in it, or is it just sort of afterwards? Yeah, no, so it, it, it's funny, I don't call it a post um, show discussion because okay. for me it's as important as the plays. The plays yeah. are there to offer kind of contrasting opinions on boycott, on censorship, on freedom of expression, um, on funding of the arts. Um, but really it's about the audience sharing a space in a theatre and being able to talk about these issues rather than just kind of tweet at each other, you know, furiously online. So yeah, so um, there's a half hour panel discussion. We've got some amazing panellists. Um, uh, again, people with contrary opinions. So we've got people like uh, the Israeli ambassador coming, and uh, and, and the same um, uh, David Gregg, who um, organised the um, the cultural boycott of Israel last year at the festival. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really exciting. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, so, what do you want your audience to take away from the show? at the end of it? What do you want them to come out feeling? Do you want them to come out with a different sort of mindset about everything, having learned something? Yeah, I want debate. Yeah. I want debate, I want discussion, because that's really important. And l what's happening at the moment, a lot of things are, um, these discussions are happening behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. And um, that's really what the aim of the plays is, that people actually talk to each other, because it's complicated. I thought I knew what my opinions were, but then the minute you start to um, engage with people and be brave about saying what your opinions are, you hear the other point of view and you realise that um, you realise that nothing's black and white. So do you feel like there needs to be quite a lot of political change when it comes to the arts and everything like that? Do you feel like things really need to be done yes. to change it? Absolutely. I mean, I think this is why I want the show is like causing such a big splash is because none of the main venues are really talking about it because the minute they do something political. Uh, that there's a controversy that surrounds it and that's really frightening this isn't something that's happening in China or Russia this is actually happening here in the UK in, in a really kind of subtle subtle way and 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 um, yeah so I think I think uh, uh, that's really important Brilliant. well thank you so much for coming and speaking to us no problem you've been watching waffle TV sponsored by Bulmers. <laughs>